What's up, guys? Um, I haven't vlogged in a while, so I wanted to give you an update. It's President's Day, Yay. and we have no power. No power. Have to conserve water. Um, no heat, because Texas has freaking electric heat here. Lame. We have hot water, though. Yeah. Um, overall, we've had power maybe like three total hours today, you would say? Yeah. Maybe a little more than that, but not too much. So um, we're bored, especially now that it's dark and we can't see anything. Yeah, our cell service was working in the beginning of the day, but now it's not. So it's like we're just sitting here in the dark. <laughs> also, my phone battery is kind of starting to get low. So it's at the point where it's like, eh, even if it's working, how much do I want to use it? Because I kind of Charge need... it in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we... I mean, we haven't showed you the setup. We have a couple little LEDs, a couple candles. Those are not real candles on the bottom. The top ones are. And a candle going over there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're bored. Hopefully the power comes back on. I think it's been off for like three hours, right? Yeah, at least three hours right now. It was on for like an hour and then it went back off. Yeah. It's been three hours since it hasn't been on. And we have water. And we have bottled water, and we have a couple other little things, um, like MRE kind of meals if we need them, but try not to break into those yet, because we don't know how long it's going to last. I don't think it's necessary either. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. And then we have food uh, in the fridge and some stuff in the freezer, but we're trying not to open those so they don't lose, uh, or they don't, yeah, they don't lose any more of their cooling, so... Especially if it's going to be out for a lot longer. Yeah, they said it's going to be, how long, they said like 45 minutes. So, no, the rolling blackouts are supposed to be between 10 and 45 minute, like, blackouts. But that obviously hasn't happened. We have been out of, not service, what is it? Power. Power, electricity for a couple hours now. And some people in our city actually haven't been with electricity at all today. So, like, they've had it worse than us. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not a rolling blackout thing anymore. It's just blackout. <laughs> it's just a blackout. Yeah, which makes me think at first, uh, maybe the grid, they didn't think it was going to be able to keep up with it, which is why they would do rolling black blackouts. But yeah, now right. I'm wondering if um, maybe the ice got to some power lines and stuff too. Yeah. And that so I think the only like food we have is a, like in our pantry that we can actually make to eat would be like bread and peanut butter without having to go into the fridge. Basically. Or just a bunch of junk food. Like, cause we have the stove, cause it's gas, but we don't have anything to put on it. Heat up some tortillas and beans. Eh, we could. Might have to resort to that. I don't know. Depends how hungry we get. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll update y'all later. Okay, you guys. We just had to empty our fridge, and what are we doing? Let me step back and see if you can see. You probably can't. We emptied our fridge into totes, and we're leaving it in the back of our car because we've been out of power for way too long. Yeah, like seven hours now. It's not expected back for another day or two. Yeah, so this is how we're keeping our food So cold. the low is 18, so everything's probably gonna freeze tonight. I think the high is only like 34, so. So it's better than keeping it inside of our fridge closed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fun. Woohoo! <laughs> it's like 10 something right now. Um, been out without power for like seven hours and we're without water now um phones are like at 20 percent and we just had to empty the freezer and fridge so we're kind of bored because we've been bored this whole time nothing to do and toby's crying because he's a little crybaby <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know we're kind of just here Trying to survive. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> survive. Improvise. Oh, but like they said, they think the outages are going to be tomorrow until Wednesday, possibly. I'm like, great. So we're probably going to have to go drive around tomorrow to charge our phones. Hopefully find some food to eat. And that's if I don't even know if businesses have power out in town. I'm assuming like the big ones do, but I don't I don't know. But that's our update for today. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, everyone. Justin's driving Ew. because we're charging our phones. And I don't know if you can see, we got the puppers back here too. Um, <laughs> so 
we are driving around so that we can one have some heat and be warm and two to charge everything like our phones because Justin was like one percent on his phone mine was like at four um, no electricity came back on throughout the day or throughout the night I guess and day yesterday I don't think they really see an end in sight anytime soon nothing is opened on base because there's no power and I was hoping like we can go get some food somewhere but we can't unless we try to see outside of base which we're not technically allowed to do because you can get fined if you're they find you outside of base not like people on base are gonna find you like the city of Del Rio said they will find fine you like five hundred dollars or something if they find you outside you're supposed to stay at home oh man I feel bad for these people well, I guess Hopefully some of them like are like RBRB yeah I uh, like it so they might be okay some of them I don't know might be better off. I was, that's what I was to say. They might be better off, actually. <laughs> I don't know how much insulation they have. Though. Yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully they're doing okay. <laughs> I think the only food we have right now is like Pop-Tarts, but we just realized we have a grill, so if Justin wants to stand outside and cook things on the grill, he can. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my target drift. Hopefully it works out. So what are we doing, Justin? Oh, cooking up my specialty. Looks like we have melted snow. Snow we're trying to melt, so we have some water. <laughs> for the toilets. <laughs> for the toilets, yeah, not for us. So we have some water in here. Or water. Snow. He actually went out and filled our ice chest. Let's see. With snow that we can hopefully melt down. That's what we're doing. Melting it up. So you guys, we're on day three, I think, right? Of no electricity or water. Um, I thought we would definitely have at least electricity by now, but it doesn't look like there's an end in sight. <laughs> doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Uh, all our stuff, so our fridge is still outside in our car, in the trunk of our cars. Luckily, it's been keeping pretty decent, I think. Um, unfortunately, I think it's going to start to heat up around here, so I don't know what we're going to try to cook as much food as we can. I mean, yeah. I don't even know what we're going to do. We're just going to have to lose out on food. Dogs have run out of food. <laughs> well, they have food. We just don't have it pre-made. Like, it's all cut in packages right now because we, we usually grind our dog's food up in a grinder and then section it out for however long. And for, unfortunately... We went to the grocery store on Monday before when we had electricity. We bought like two weeks worth of dog food to make. And now we just have two weeks of dog food sitting in our car that is unmade. That's a lot of food that's either going to go bad or like, I don't know. You might just have to, This we have a scale and it's battery operated. So we might just have to like portion things out like by meal, which is going to take four freaking ever. Mm -hmm. So we might just have to do that for them, which is probably what we're going to do. That's going to take a few hours, honestly. Like the meat grinder usually is what helps with the process of speeding up. Because before we got that meat grinder, I was literally doing their food and cutting it by hand and it took forever. <laughs> so that's where we are right now. Um, what time is it? 9 a.m. Wednesday. I think it's like 50 something degrees in our house, which is why I'm wearing a beanie and sweater and a robe and 5,000 blankets on. Hopefully I can update you later with better news. <laughs> <laughs> Another update. Um, it's Thursday now. Our dogs love the snow. He was running. Now he has a ball he's trying to play with. It's too cold for him to bite, so he just digs at it. He was running zoomies. He get distracted. Get it, Bubba, get it! Get it, Bubba, get it! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I love the snow. Oh. We have water. Expecting another uh, freezing rain and snowstorm tonight. So we're gonna put a little bit extra water in the bathtub just in case it goes out. Don't wanna pull it up too much because I don't wanna hog it because I think there's still probably limited supply. Uh, but doing all we can now to be prepped for the future. 
You guys, we got some power back on. Um, it's probably only gonna last a little bit, so we're trying to just turn off everything that we don't need and like charge phones and then let the heater heat up and then hopefully it stays on long enough to heat up the house and to get things charged because we don't think it's gonna last, especially because tonight's getting the snow again. <laughs> so fingers crossed that the power stays on at least long enough at least an hour right at least at least an hour and then we're hoping it's just like a rolling blackout where it's just like every couple hours we get like an hour of power i don't know hope it's not rolling like how it has been where it's oh you get an hour and then three days of nothing <laughs> also we just got water back on like maybe a half hour ago uh it's been about an hour maybe an hour ago we just got water too so we're back in civilization for a little bit <laughs> okay you guys it's the next morning and thankfully our power i think stayed on throughout most of the night um, it is on right now. We just woke up, so it's nice and toasty in here. But I did want to show you what the weather looks like outside. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing outside. So fingers crossed that we keep electricity and water. We're actually not supposed to be using like that much water. Um, we are under a boil advisory, so we can't like drink or anything with the water. Um, but we have a shit ton of dishes that need to be cleaned and I don't think we can technically use the water to clean because then I don't think it's actually clean. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I wish we could use our dishwasher and clean our dishes, but we can't right now. Um, I think they just don't want everyone using all the water up and then we're out again. So we're being very cautious with our water. Um, we both showered yesterday because we needed to, even if the water was going to be gross. <laughs> um, it wasn't gross in the pipes after it ran for a little bit but we didn't let it go down the drain we just plugged the shower in case like water shuts off and we need water to flush our toilets like okay worst case scenario we have this water it's a little soapy from us washing but that's what we did so we have a tub full of water um showered finally yesterday and hopefully the water is not that nasty i just think it's I think you just can't consume it or something like that. You, like, you have to boil it if you're going to consume it. I think we're going to try to make some breakfast. I'm starving oh, and exhausted. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> For those of you who don't have corgis, um, this is one of the things I love most about them when it's snowing. Because they're so low to the ground, they leave little trails everywhere. You can see everywhere he goes. What a cute little guy. He loves the snow. I forgot to put his jacket on this time. What you doing? Is your ball over there? Are you playing with your ball? Yeah, I knew it. You pushing it in a circle? Keep that chin up, Bubba. You're gonna get buried. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> It's so deep back here, huh, Bubba? You're gonna get stuck. Go potty. Also, Momo's historically really bad at catching things, but I just found out she's actually pretty good at catching snow. Momo. Rah, yeah, I catch it. You wanna do some more? Momo. Rah, good girl. Back to the ball. Say, we love snow days. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so I forgot to record this yesterday. Um, when we were out getting lunch, they were giving free lunch away on base, thankfully. Um, we got noticed that we could go to the gas station because they're going to be open for a limited period of time uh, and we're allowed up to 20 bucks worth of gas. Uh, so I was sitting there in line, barely moving, sitting there for probably 30 minutes or something, maybe moved up a few spaces. And... All of a sudden, one of the police officers came by and started talking to the vehicle ahead of me and then me. They asked, hey, is your tank on the right side or left side? Uh, it's on the right in our new Atlas. And so they let us go uh, around this line past no fewer than 50 cars ahead of us uh, and 
got to go basically to the front line. There was only like two cars hitting me at that point. So super lucked out, got to fill up, almost fill up anyways, the tank without having to wait in line. People were there for two, three hours, and then the gas station actually quit working. I don't know if it was an electrical thing, they ran out of gas or what, but yeah, really lucked out. Today, it sounds like in town, there's still plenty of gas. There's not a line anymore. Still a little bit of a line on base, uh, but we definitely lucked out. I was worried the whole time. Uh, I didn't have my phone with me yesterday. We left it here charging since the power had just came on. We weren't sure when it was going off. Uh, and originally the plan was we're just gonna get food. So I actually had a phone and I wasn't gonna need it. Uh, so I was stressing out the whole time because Ashley was sitting there at Stripes where they're handing out, food, handing out food by herself the whole time. I couldn't message her to let her know what was going on. Uh, I was worried she was gonna like try to walk and find me or walk back to the house or something, which I mean, she's more than able to, she's a capable adult, but I was worried that she's gonna push it too hard. She's gonna hurt herself. Uh, obviously she's super pregnant right now. She was smart, she stayed put, waited for me to come back. And then we enjoyed our free wings and tots that they gave us. Okay, you guys, so it's, I don't even know what day Friday. of the week, Friday. We've been Friday. with electricity Friday. and water for a day, right? Yeah, a day and a half now. Day and a half now, so fingers crossed that it doesn't go out again. Doesn't look like it, at least I don't think so. It shouldn't. It shouldn't, it? yeah. Uh, but so that's kind of the end of our crazy Texas storm vlog. I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that everything's ending on a good note. And we got power and water and heat back. And Momo's relaxing. She's sad, though. Yeah, I don't know. She's sad because she likes the snow and it's like her favorite thing and it's melted already. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the crazy vlog and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.